Hey YouTube, it's Jessica. Um, why am I playing with this thing? I don't know. If you if you don't know, or if you haven't noticed, I like to talk with my hands a lot in my videos. And if it annoys you, I'm sorry. It's just how I am. It has to be the Italian in me. I don't know. But um, I kind of wanted to make a whole video before I get started studying for my gazillion tests that I have over the course of the next two days. So, yeah, I kind of wanted to be a slacker and make a video. But if you watched my rant, my Arbor Organics rant, um, I told you guys that I went to Target and I would show you what I got and that I had a case of my product junkie-itis, I guess, if you want to say. Um, but the fact of the matter is, it it wasn't that bad. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I always think it's bad than what it is when I go to Target, which is good, um, because I actually bought stuff that I needed, and it wasn't just strictly impulse buying. So, let's get to it. Let's talk about what I'm playing with in my hand here. Um, these little beanie thingies, I guess, they're little hats. I'm sure you guys have seen them. I have one in like a cream color, and I got one in black, which I should have got two in black, because... I'll probably wear the black ones the most. But, um, I really like, um, wearing these in, like, fall and winter months. And since fall has finally reached Florida, the northern parts anyway, um, I decided to go ahead and pick up some of these because I really like wearing them. And, um, since my hair is drier in the winter time and I don't really like to fuss with it as much, I like to, um, just kind of be lazy and put it back in little protective styles. And actually, the person who gave me the idea to actually pick some of these up is the lovely Miss Ashley Ariane. And um, if you don't watch her videos, I'll put um, a link down in the description box. And I'll actually put the video that she was talking about, a protective style with these, which is a really ingenious idea. Um, I didn't think about it before, so go watch her videos and subscribe to her because she's awesome and I love her videos. <laughs> I got the Jane Carter Revitalizing Leave-In Conditioner. I was almost out of this, so I got some. Um, I use this mostly for refreshing my curls. I don't really actually use it as a leave-in, so it works good as a curl refresher. I don't really like it. I don't really like um, liquid leave-ins as leave-ins. I like like cream consistency leave-in, so that's why I don't really use this as a leave-in. Um, where's my bag? This is what happens when you haven't slept for two days, you guys, and um, yeah, you're all scatterbrained all over the place, that's how I am. I also got the Suave Naturals Pomegranate Splash Conditioner. It was on sale for a dollar and some change. I think it's originally two dollars. It's not that expensive. Um, and the main reason why I got this is because of the smell. I don't really need another co-washing conditioner, which is what I use this for. But it doesn't necessarily smell like pomegranates because I eat pomegranates, and pomegranates do not smell like this. It has a more like a cherry, strawberry type smell. Um, it smells awesome. So. I picked this up as co-wash. And, also, I got, I didn't buy this, by the way. Um, it was given to me, but I, I guess I just threw it in my Target bag when she gave it to me. But, Miss Jessie's Quick Curls, which, if you go to Target and buy this, this is $32. I would not pay $32 for this. I mean, I guess if it worked really, really well for me, and I had no other choice, I would pay $32 for this maybe, but, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, I really wouldn't, that's a lot of money, you guys, I don't know, for only 8 ounces, $32, anyway, anyway, <laughs> uh, my friend, who is newly natural, she transitioned for, I think, 8 months to a year, and then she just big chopped about six months ago, she was asking about Miss Jessie's products because she was really interested in them. And of course, she was on YouTube, and a lot of people say they either like it or they don't. And I was telling her, I was like, you know what, if you really want to try it, 
at the end of the day, you just have to try it because no matter how many videos or reviews that you see or read, you know, you can't tell what's going to work with your hair. So I told her, just, you know, get what you think you would like or even get the sample pack. Um, she ended up buying the quick curls and the curly pudding, I think. And she didn't like the quick curls because it was too light. Um, oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry. She got the quick curls because it was light, and she likes lighter things in her hair, so her hair's not way down, but um, it, w it was too light for her, she found, and it just didn't, she had so much frizz, like I had with everything else with Miss Jessie. She had too much frizz, um, so she didn't like it. So she asked me if I wanted it, and um, the quick curls actually worked decently for me, so I was like, yeah, I'll take it. Um, I'll pay you like $15 for it. I wasn't just going to take it, you know, and she was like, no, 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 no. Um, I'll give it to you as like a late birthday gift. So I now have a bottle of quick curls, um, which I'll be using. Yeah, so today I went by Sally's, which I should have gone and got my eyebrows threaded because they're looking kind of jacked up as I'm making this video so please excuse my eyebrows um I'm so random today you guys I don't know why uh lack of sleep I'm telling you but uh I got this little cute headband from Sally's and it's just like a beaded stretchy headband because as you as you guys have probably seen that I like my headbands I wear them all the time. So, headband, cute. Um, I also got this little clip thing with kind of like a jewel detail, but it opens like this. Got that from Sally's. Really cute. I also got a satin pillowcase, and it's like a beige goldy color. And the reason why I got this is because I have two satin pillowcases already for the pillows that I sleep on, but they're white. And they don't match my sheets at all. So I wanted something that matched my sheets. And this one did, but unfortunately I only have one. So I bought this. I'm going to have to go back and get a second one. But satin pillowcase. I also got some nail polishes. And I usually get China Glaze because I love China Glaze nail polishes. And next to the display of China Glaze, they had like a little smaller display, um, and it had like 10 different colors or so, and it was promoting um, different cancers, like cancer awareness. So if you bought one of the colors, a portion of that would go to, you know, research and awareness of the, cer of different, of the different cancers. And I got R Rich and Famous which is a pink color, it's really pretty, which of course supports breast cancer awareness. And the reason why I got this is because my aunt is um, a breast cancer survivor, actually. So I always try to support breast cancer awareness. So pretty pink color, rich and famous. Um, another one in that um, line is called That Away. And it's a really pretty orangey, peachy color. And it's also got kind of like a gold um, sparkles in it and I believe this one is um, for leukemia um, I think I'm pretty sure I don't really remember but yeah and these aren't new colors at all it's not like a new line coming out they're already original colors but they just designated certain colors for different cancers I guess and this one this last one I got is called Hawaiian Punch which as soon as I picked this up before looking at the label, I was like, this kind of looks like Hawaiian Punch. And sure enough, yeah. So it's a really cute red color. I like Um, What else? So it's hard to believe that I ran out of gel, but I did finally. So um, I got some Eco Styler gel, which is on sale currently at Sally's. And last but not least, I got... Um, just a moisturizing deep treatment. Um, it's the Mega Silk Moisturizing Treatment by Silk Elements. Um, I've used this before. It worked really well in my hair. And I stopped using it just because my hair was getting used to it and I needed to put, you know, use other things. And it's kind of thick like that, if you can see. It's a really thick consistency. It's a light, kind of florally fragrant smell. It smells good. Um, but yeah, I was 
out of the Shea Moisture Reconstructive Mask or Restorative Mask. You guys know what I'm talking about. And, um, yeah, I needed a new one. And I didn't necessarily like the Shea Moisture all that much to get it again. So I just picked up this one. Um, so, yeah, that's all the stuff I bought. And I really need to go stop being a slacker and start sitting for these crazy exams that I'm having. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.